Good Samaritan Hospital faces a $35 million lawsuit brought by the family of a security guard who was shot and killed there. Fox News' Deborah Gale joins us live from Northwest Portland this morning with details on this lawsuit. Deb. Good morning, you two. Yeah, the family says the hospital here on Northwest 22nd did not follow its own uh, security protocol, which ultimately led to the death of their son, and they don't want to see anything like that happen again. In July of 2023, Ponya X. Caius accompanied his partner to Legacy Good Samaritan here. The lawsuit says over three days, hospital staff filed five reports documenting Caius's violent behavior. Then on July 22nd, Bobby Smallwood, a security guard, here at Good Sam was instructed to wait with Kayez in the hallway while security staff searched his partner's room before escorting him out. The lawsuit says despite finding multiple guns and ammunition and learning that Kayez had a concealed gun on him, staff failed to warn Smallwood. And then when staff kept Kayez from leaving the hospital, he shot Smallwood in the neck. We're, we understand that uh, Mr. Smallwood was left on the floor for close to eight minutes before he got any medical attention, even though he was in a hospital. Um, and he died shortly thereafter. The family's attorney says, quote, despite documented threats and abusive behavior that required immediate removal under hospital policy, Legacy allowed a dangerous individual to remain on the premises for three days until those threats escalated to violence. We reached out to Legacy Health for comment, but they said they cannot comment on pending litigation. Reporting live in Northwest Portland, Deborah Gill, Good Day, Oregon. All right.